everyone and welcome back to Yellow Cottage Soapery. Tonight we have a special guest, my younger daughter Lindsay. Hello. She's She's almost 13 and she is going to be making her first batch of soap. And the fragrance that she chose is Peach Perfection. Do you want to read it? Sure. Okay. She's going to read you the fragrance description <laughs> real quick. Compare this fragrance oil by Nature's Garden to Tyler's Peachy King. The best way to describe the scent is... What did you do? You're not used to my phone. Okay. Um, the best way to describe the scent is mouth-watering, bursts of peach nectar, not an overly sweet peach, more luscious and juicy. You are going to love this. Mouth-watering orchid fruits of peach and cherry are highlighted by the effer effervescent effervescent and of bergamot and hints of dewy orange blossoms to create the... Why do you keep hitting the button? Silly. <laughs> You're almost done. To the perfect summer scent. Okay. So, the colors that she has chosen, want to tell them? I picked orange, which is ta tangerine Tang dream. Mm -hmm. The green, which is called the maniacal pea. Or maniacal pea. <laughs> You're so cute. And then the white is called... Here comes the bride. Okay, she's going to use some titanium dioxide for the white portion, but she wants to add a little bit of shimmer. So she's going to use Here Comes the Bride. And the fragrance is great. Do you like it? Did you smell it? Yeah, I picked it. Yep, yep. she went through all of it and picked. That's the one she picked. And we're going to do something special with this batch of soap. This is a 10 bar batch, and we've decided that all of the sales from this loaf of soap are going to be, we're going to take dog and cat food to the Humane Society here in Myrtle Beach. And that was Lindsay's decision to do that. So all of the money that she makes on these soaps, will we're going to go pick out food for the animals at the Humane Society. So we're excited about that and I thought that was really sweet that she wanted to do that. So we're going to go ahead and get started. Go ahead and you can put your stick blender. Lindsay's been around. She knows. She's watched me make soap many times and she knows all about the safety precautions to take. So um, the first thing you're going to do, she's already mixed in the clay. So go ahead and pick up your lye and pour it down the side very slowly. Don't turn your stick blender on yet. Good job. Perfect. Now you can just set that off to the side. You don't need that anymore. Okay, now go ahead and you know the high and low. You can mix it either way. And you can kind of pick it up a little bit. Yep. Perfect. Awesome. Okay, now you can stop and you can go ahead and add your heavy cream. Just pour that right in. All of it? Mm-hmm. And then go ahead on low and just blend that in real good. Okay, perfect. Alright, let's take the stick blender out and you can go ahead, actually we'll just take it off here. And what you're going to do now is measure out your colors into the two containers. What do you want your main color to be? Um, green. You want your main color to be green? No, 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 no. Orange. So orange is your main color, and then you want yellow, I mean, green and white swirlies? Mm -hmm. Okay. So you're going to have most of your batter is orange. So go ahead. Can you do it with this in there, or do you want to take this out? It's whatever. Actually, let's put it right in that container that you're going to pour into, because that'll be white, and you'll mix the lightest color first. So go ahead very carefully and pick this up, and just pour as much as you want in there for your white. Do you want me to hold that? Perfect. Oh, that's okay. That's okay. Like that? Yep, that's fine. Um, just grab that napkin right there. I know that bowl gets full. Okay, so this will be your white. And then you want this to be your green. So go ahead and pour into there. If you want, if it makes you, well, you might want to have two hands on that. But I was going to say you could hold that with one hand if you wanted. But. Pour it like in the middle more so it doesn't go down the... Perfect. Now however much you want. Okay. 
All right, so the first thing you're going to do is you want to mix lightest to darkest. That way you don't have to clean your stick blender between. So we're going to go ahead and add your titanium dioxide. You don't have to do the whole thing. Just do part of it and then you'll mix it and see if you want it any whiter. Okay, that's good. And we'll put the rest of the colors in before we blend. So take your little spoon and add um, right here, you want orange because that's your main, you probably just want to dump all of it and we might need to get a little more orange. Let me drop that spoon. Yeah, it's gone. We, we'll have to see what color it comes out and if we need to, I have more orange, okay? Mm -hmm. All right, now you want to add the green. So just kind of move that aside and get a nice spoonful of the green and put it in here. Mm -hmm. All right, perfect. All right, let's mix these up and see what they look like. You want to add a little bit of white? Which one? This right here, um, but I would use the end of your spoon. Just scoop it, just go close to it so you don't... There you go. You can put a little bit more too if you want it to have some sparkle. Okay, now put this in there, or your stick blender on, and go ahead and mix that. Hold, yeah, hold, hold one hand here and keep it down in so you don't get air bubbles. Good. Do you want it whiter or is that good? Whiter. Okay. Add a little bit more of the titanium dioxide. Leave, the, leave that right in there. And when you pull it out, you want to tap it so you don't have any air bubbles. Mm -hmm. Do you want the sparkle or do you want this? This will make it more white. That will just more, basically add a sparkle. You want just a tiny bit though. You don't want too much. Okay. Hold the handle and go ahead and mix that. That's good. Now, you know what I didn't do is get you out any spatulas. What was I thinking? Yeah. All right. That was close. All right. So, go ahead. I'll hold this and you take this and just kind of spoon a little bit of it off into the container just to get some of it off there. How do I hold it? I'll hold this for you. I know. Just like turn this and just kind of... It's really not a big deal. We're gonna we're gonna move over to the orange now. So just put the spatula right in the white. In? Yep. We're gonna move it off to the side. <coughs> oh, almost fell. Okay. Bring this over. You're gonna mix the orange. When you put your thing in, you wanna kind of put put it over top of the color. Oh no! Keep it down in. Okay, let's move on to the green. You just want to keep stick blending, don't you? Mm -hmm. Okay, pull it out. Just go ahead and plop it in the green. But it's orange. It's okay. Hold the handle. These goggles are falling down my face. Okay, that's good. Alright. Now go ahead and we'll just scrape a little bit of this off. Alright, let me just bang it down. Alright, now what you want to do is put your spoon in there. Yep, put your spoon in there and go ahead and mix it with your spoon. I love mixing. Careful, you don't want to splop it out. Like go around the sides and get all the on the sides and everything. And now you're going to add your fragrance, but you're going to split this um, up with each of them. So you're going to put the most fragrance in there. Go ahead and add a little to the green. Okay. This? Well, I would go ahead and just mix your green up real quick and then set it aside and do your others. Careful. Slow. Mom, it's okay. I'm a professional. No. <laughs> okay. 
Now this, this one goes in here, and you're going to have to scrape some of the mica off the side of that one. Oh, it smells so good. Now I can smell it. Can you? Careful. You're so vigorous with your stirring. I'm afraid you're going to slop, slop it out. I've done this. No, you haven't. In, in cake making. Okay. All right, now set that one aside and go ahead and pour the rest in the orange. Before you do that, though, take your spatula and kind of just go around the outside and make sure you get all the color that's on the side. Very good. Do you like that color orange? It's really peachy, I think, don't you? Okay, and pour the rest of your fragrance in there. Don't you love it? I think it smells so good. Okay. Oh, careful, careful, careful. That's what I'm saying. You got. You can't stir it so crazy. You don't want to splash that up on your skin or your eyes. Now go ahead and take your spatula and go around like you were doing before. Here, honey, hold your spatula like this. Try like this. Maybe that'll be easier. I like that. Isn't it easier? Okay. All right. Now stir the orange really good. Okay, are you ready to pour it? Mm -hmm. Alright, let's push everything aside. Bring your mold over. And make sure it's in the camera. Push it out just a hair. Okay, so if you want orange to be your main color, you want to pour orange first. You can pour all of it. You can pour a little bit of it. And alternate between the other colors. You can pour however you want. Ready, set, go. It's not a race. What do I do with this? Just leave it in, the, leave it in there because you might have to stir it but just pour as much as you want carefully. But you can pour however you want. You can pour circles, you can, yeah, you can do anything. And then just kind of take your finger and go like that when you're done so it doesn't drip out. You can just put that in there and then <laughs> wipe your finger on there. Mark did the same thing in his video. He had it on his finger and he's like, okay, what do I do now? All right, go ahead with your next color. Just push your orange aside. And maybe give your white a little stir before you pour it. All right, now go ahead and pour that however you want. It's starting to get a little thick. Okay, do do the lip like I told you. Right, oh. right here. It's like gonna drip it's off. It's warm. I know, honey. It's got lye in it. Okay, green. Give it a little stir and pour away. Ooh, fancy. Do the lip. Okay. Keep going with your colors. Got to get them in the mold. And just keep alternating or doing however you want until they're gone. Careful. Do the lip. Just take, what, let me show you. Just take your finger and go like that. Next time. Okay, now the green. Ooh, swirly twirlies. Fancy. Do the lip. <laughs> I'm going to make you do the lip. Do the lip. Is this um addicting? Do you like it? I mean, it's okay. Keep going. You gotta keep going because it's gonna get thick. Stir it up a little bit. My battery's going low. 
do the lip blend. You gotta remember to do that. It's I gonna like get to all set over. It down. Okay. Careful. You're stirring. You're like. You know what? You could pipe on the top like you do your cupcakes. Or do you want to not? I feel like I'm going to throw up. Why? Do you need to go? Okay, um, Lindsay started feeling sick to her stomach all of a sudden, so... She's kind of sitting here next to me, but she wants me to fill, finish filling it up for her, and then she will go ahead and do a quick swirl. I'll kind of try to stick with your design, okay? You did orange and then white, or orange and then green? White. And you did like zigzagging every other one? Um, I did one time, like one color was zigzag. Okay. And then the green? I think the green is zigzag. Okay. And then next time it's the Do I zigzag white. the orange? Uh -huh. Do I zigzag the orange? Yeah. It's kind of busy at our house tonight. My husband's changing our air filters and he's up and down the stairs. All right, then do I do straight with the white or curved? No, what? No, yeah, straight, straight. And the green, is that curvy or straight? Um, curvy. You might not even want to swirl this. You might want to leave it like this so you can see your design when you cut it. It's up to you. Well, remember I told you you could swirl it with a spoon or hanger or chopstick or something? Mm -hmm. But, you know, the way you poured it, it might be pretty the way it is. Oh. It's up to you. It's exciting to see the final thing. It is exciting. You can cut it tomorrow. Um... So I did straight orange, zigzag white. Do I do zigzag green or straight green? Straight. Okay. It's getting pretty full, so the rest is going to go on the top. Now, do you want to pipe it like you do cupcakes, or do you, do you not feel up to it? I can pipe it. All right. I'm going to get the piping bag ready for her, and we will be back in a second. Do you want to swirl it first, or do you want to leave it like this? Leave it. Okay. She wants to leave it, so we'll be back in just a second. Okay, we're back. Um, Lindsay's decided she wants to pipe it, but she's not feeling great, so she's just going to kind of do it quick. It's still a little, you can go ahead, honey. It's still a little bit runny, but she's going to just go ahead and do whatever she wants on top. Hold it straight up, maybe. If, it looks like you're holding it awkward. Careful. Look, it's going to go out the top. The top, hold, like, push it down. There you go. We just mixed all three colors in the bag. This looks really bad. It's okay. You've piped on um, cupcakes, right? And cake before. You like doing it. Mm -hmm. This is just a little runnier right now, but you know, she wanted it to go lay down, so we're just trying to get it done. Looking good. Okay. 
I squeeze down the top just so it doesn't warp you out. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Okay, now go ahead and go back and do however you want. You can fill in like these spaces if you want or go on top down the middle. Is it fun? All right, take a second and squish it all down, like from the top, see, there you go. If you hear a little clicking noise, that's our ceiling fan. All right, now you do whatever you want. Go down the center if you want, make it a little higher, or on one side. Ooh, fancy, I've never done that before. Now what are you going to do? And she had long sleeves on. She took them off because she was feeling really warm. It is so humid here. I'm talking like it's been over 100 degrees and the humidity has been like crazy. You can't even be outside. You just stand there sweating, doing absolutely nothing. I'm done. Just squeeze it on there and so use up the rest somehow. Look at you piping soap. Oh, right, you want to put some glitter on it? Okay, right there. See the little bottle with the red top? No. Right there. You just gotta poof it. It's like a little poofer bottle. Okay, you wanna just pick it up and show it to the camera slowly, but be very careful. You might wanna hold it on the sides. No, nope, these sides. What do you mean? Like the, okay, I'll help you just because it's pretty fluid. And here's Lindsay's very first soap. It's called, the fragrance is Peach Perfection. Do you want to call it that or do you want to call it something different? Different. Okay, we'll think of a name and we will um, put it up. But all of these bars that we sell are going to go for to the Humane Society for, we're going to take food and stuff for the cats and dogs. Thanks so much for watching, guys, and we will see you on the next video. Goodbye. Hi, guys. We are back. It's been two days, I think, and Lindsay's going to go ahead and cut her peach soap, which she's decided to name Peach Perfect. So go ahead, Wins, you can cut it. All the way down, and then leave it down, and pull the bar out. You've seen me do it enough, right? Ooh, turn it. It's so pretty. You like it? Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's just the back, the butt end. You can set that one aside. All right, nope, nope, pick up your lever, and then slide it all the way. Yep. Pretty. Turn, turn it so they can see the other side. Okay. Now take this and wipe off your cutter thing. There you go. It's pretty. Mm -hmm. Wait, clean your cutter. Okay, turn it over. 
Do you like it? Mm -hmm. Just don't put it behind that because it'll smush it. Clean your cutter. Cut one more on camera. Okay. Looks good. Okay, guys, thanks so much for watching. And if you're interested in purchasing any of these bars, just visit my Facebook page, Yellow Cottage Soapery. And thanks for watching. We'll catch you on the next video.